Hey guys, Curtis Alexander, can citrus bergamot lower cholesterol? Let's talk about that. So bergamot is actually a fruit native to Italy. Why we call it citrus bergamot. So interestingly enough, right off the bat, we know that it contains flavonoids in the fruit and those flavonoids are structurally very similar to what we have in our statin class of medications, which is our most popular class of prescription drugs to lower cholesterol. Now, let's look at the studies. The uh, first one was interesting because they gave these folks 1,000 milligrams a day of the bergamot. They did that for 30 days, and what they found was that the good cholesterol, HDL, went up. Total cholesterol went down, LDL went down, and triglycerides went down. They went down. Basically, it was equivalent to what they saw in patients who were taking resuvastatin 10 milligrams a day. Okay. Interestingly, they then gave the bergamot with resuvastatin 10 milligrams a day and the decrease in cholesterol was similar to what they saw with resuvastatin 20 milligrams a day so not only is it helpful with statins it's roughly equivalent to 10 milligrams of resuvastatin on its own so um, pretty promising the next study they took obese overweight patients they had mild high cholesterol uh, not as promising, a little different dose in two, they gave 500 milligrams twice a day. They did it a bit longer for 12 weeks. We saw total cholesterol and LDL go down, but there were no effects on the good cholesterol or triglycerides. Last study I found interesting, sometimes when you give statin medications to people, they just don't do well with them. Um, the body aches and the myalgia that they can see with that they're, they're intolerant to it. They can't take them. So they gave those patients the bergamot. They gave 150 milligrams a day. They did it much longer for six months. Interestingly, LDL or the bad cholesterol went down 20%. Triglycerides down 17%. And HDL, the good stuff, went up 8%. So all in all, I find this very promising. Uh, would I recommend you talk to your doctor about it? Absolutely. It's something you can add on to a statin regimen. If you are not doing well with statins, it's something that could potentially replace that. I would probably start out at the little lower end, maybe 500 milligrams a day. Um, you can even start out like that last study at 150 a day or 160 a day. Start out lower, see how you do, and you can always go up from there based off your tolerance. Um, but that was, that's the other thing I want to mention about the studies. It was, it was well tolerated, so not a lot of issues with that. I'll put a link in the description to the brands that were used in the study. So if you want to go uh, look for those, you can do that. Also, make sure to go to curtis-alexander.com. Make sure to grab your free checklist because I go over a lot of other things on that email list that are natural therapies that you'll want to know about if you're looking for options outside of drugs and surgery. Okay, so I hope this was helpful, guys. I'll see you in the next one. Thank you.